What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell, and I'm making a quick commercial here for SeerCustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Oxano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxana. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Well, hello everybody. What is going on? It is Jay Campbell, your trusty podcast and oftentimes live stream host. And this is of course the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my new and improved stream yard virtual studio with the thyroid fixer, Dr. Amy Horniman. Amy, how are you? I'm great. What's up, Jay? How are you? It's amazing to have you here today. So guys, uh, before I tell you guys about her bio, uh, Amy actually reached out to me uh, after my recent podcast with Ben Greenfield talking about Asir and Oxano, of course. And wow, man, she is a spitfire. Her energy is unbelievable. She is very spiritual. She's incredibly high vibration. And I was just so overwhelmed by her info. I went on her podcast. It was amazing. She is a fountain of knowledge when it comes to hormones, when it comes to health optimization, to understanding, obviously, the thyroid. I mean, she's big into metformin. I mean, she's like a miniature version or a sister version of Jay Campbell. So this is an honor to have here actually today to talk about stuff. And I'd also just say that Amy is an expert in working with women. And as a lot of the ladies who will watch this podcast, um, you know, will know, you guys are always asking me like, Jay, recommend me somebody. So I think, I think that I got that person now today. And it's awesome that you're also a woman, because as I was telling you off air, you know, I, I, a lot of times I, I kind of, you know, have a little bit of regret or disdain, you know, when I'm like recommending women to men, you know, it's kind of like men who work with female doctors who never use testosterone, right? Like if I was working with a doctor, I would work with you because I understand that you understand hormones, right? But the average guy who goes to a PPO doctor or their family medical doctor, and it's a 72 year old lady who knows nothing about hormones. Like, what the fuck are they I'm, doing? It's like, I'm, you know, but I hear that. And you know, you, you've heard that a thousand times. I'm sure you've saved so many women. Uh, and I'm sure you have men patients too, but um, it's an honor, like I said, to have you. Okay. So let me give you guys uh, her bio before we jump in here. Again, I call her the thyroid fixer. That's what she's known as on the internet. And she is a woman on a mission to optimize thyroid patients around the world and really give them their lives back. And by the way, my audience is very familiar with Stop the Thyroid Madness. I've done mm-hmm. numerous podcasts on it. Yep. Um, she actually has created a transformational program called the Complete Thyroid Fix Method, which is CTFM. Um, and she's also obviously personally experienced all this. Uh, misdiagnosis is no improper treatment. Um, So she's obviously, you know, again, like me on a mission, very purpose driven mission to help women that have suffered as she has. Uh, And and again, you know, again, you guys will find out how much of a wealth of knowledge she is. She's also, you know, again, really good on camera. So it's awesome to have her here today to talk, you know, in a very informal conversation about stuff. Um, So with all that said, Amy, as I always do on this, on this Jay Campbell podcast, before we really get into the meat and potatoes, give me your take right now 
on it's August 1st, 2021 Sunday. Uh, what the hell is going on in the world right now? <laughs> can I can I can I be honest? You can be as honest as you want. This is the Jay Gamble oh, podcast. Awesome. We don't right. say anything that YouTube will get us deleted, but you know. Right, right, right. So a little bit of freedom of speech, right? right. Well, you know, I think since my focus obviously is in medicine and health and healing, I tend to focus way more on that than you know politics, although sure. politics play a role, all that good stuff. Right. So what I see going on is just like we talked about the medical community, I call it conventional medicine. You call it, I think, sick medicine. Sick care. <laughs> and, yeah. Illness medicine or sick illness care. You medicine. Got it. I think, you know, they just have people, I hate to use the term brainwashed, but I'm going to use the term brainwashed. That's true. They have people brainwashed yeah. that this is what you do. And you know what? Even you and I, when we were little, we learned you go to the doctor, right. you tell the doctor your symptoms and what's wrong. Doctor right, right. writes on his little pad and sends you on his way and you trust the doctor. Right, right. And you know what? The, you just can't now and it's getting no worse. It's getting to the point where you better know going in that you might be misdiagnosed, that you might be handed a Band-Aid medication, that you might be given the runaround or even bad information that could harm your health. And you better be knowledgeable enough to protect yourself because exactly. you won't get anywhere. Yeah, exactly. You have to be, I mean, you know, cliche from the book, but you have to be the scientist of your own health. You cannot, Amy, you know this. I mean, I don't want to go back to something you just said, because you hit it out of the park. Your parents and my parents, because we're around the same age, you're a little younger than me, I think. If you're not, then you're really doing something right. It must be the, <laughs> it must be the Asir product. It's the Asir, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> Save that. No, but uh, but in truth, your parents and my parents, literally to what you said, that is their mantra. Mm -hmm. My doctor said. They don't know anything beyond that. If you and I, and, and I'm sure you have this in your own family, and you even are a doctor, and you tell your family or your parents or your brothers and sisters to do this, they look at you like, oh, you're not my doctor. <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly it. And I guess my last little soapbox before we get into the, to the meat of our talk is insurance companies. So, oh. Oh. you know, I think what people really have to understand is insurance was put in place by employers to get you back to work. Exactly. So if we go back to World War II, that's what it was. It was like, hey, people are getting sick and they're they're not coming to work and we need everybody we possibly can, right? So we'll put into place insurance so they can go get patched up and get back to work and get on the, the front lines again. It was never meant for you to thrive in your 40s, right. 50s, 60s, 70s. It right. was never meant to give you this optimal health where you feel right. amazing and you're aging like a rock star. It wasn't meant for that. And this is where people have to get out of that insurance mindset of like, oh, is there a copay? Does insurance cover it? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if you want insurance to cover it, I got five minutes with you and that is it. And if you think I can heal you in five minutes, good luck. Because I, lo I, I love that you're saying that because honestly, you are my sister from another dimension. <laughs> Cause that's, I mean, that's, that's literally all I ever say. I mean, like, but my company is only $40. I mean, dude, it's like, are you serious? Like if you're at that point, this, it, you know, again, here we, again, we're in 2021. We just had the greatest debacle scam, whatever it was, whatever it was, 2020. Mm -hmm. Right. They're now attempting to continue the scam. If you are still at a place in your life where your medical slash health Let's just talk about functional wellness, living longer, stronger, whatever you want to call it, life extension. If that is dependent on what your primary care doctor thinks or wants, dude, you're gone. You, you, I mean, check out, opt out. I mean, th th truthfully, most of these people are not watching the show. But right. to make the point, there are many that are. Um, and again, I, you know, I hate calling out the baby boomer generation because I always do. But that's the generation that really does trust what they get as far as feedback from their docs, whether it's an HMO, a PPO, a family care doc. I mean, I mean, you know this. I mean, like the average HMO or PPO doctor over the age of 60 smokes cigarettes. Yeah. Has heart disease, 
is inflamed, doesn't exercise, eats like shit. Like you said, is going down a Rolodex five minutes, 50 patients, 45 patients in a day. I mean, they're, they're a walking heart attack themselves. They're the, they're the anathema of getting health advice. 100%. Nailed it. I mean, it's just, but yet they still listen to them. They still I know. listen to them. They still listen to them. In, in truth, and I, and we'll get into the points, but like that generation, Amy, they have to die off. I know that sounds callous, but that's really what has to happen. That's what has to happen just to move the vibration of the planet up. Mm -hmm. Because these people are in pain and in fear. And that's a horrible combination. Yep. Pain and fear leads you to the doctor to, 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 to basically numb you up. As yep. many pills as you can take so you don't feel shitty. Yep. You don't feel anything, right? But at least right. you don't feel shitty. Absolutely. And that's where we're at, dude. That's, that's where we're at. at. So if this message reaches 10 people that go, oh, you know what? Maybe I will pay a little bit more to get better help so that I can actually thrive as I age and retire and I can enjoy retirement <laughs> instead of going on vacation and hauling my pill box right. along with me and being too tired to walk up the stairs, then bam, we've done something. Well, you just keep nailing it. I mean, in my course that's coming... We actually created an accountability document that shows the costs of the $40 a month payment and then dealing with the bullshit as you get older versus spending five to ten thousand dollars a year on your on your wellness. Mm -hmm. The differentiation when people will see this, they're gonna have a heart attack because the as you know, in the back end, it's probably a at minimum it's three hundred thousand dollars that a mm -hmm. person will pay more in sick care medicine for thwarting disease medications. I mean, you know this, like the average 65 to 7 year old person takes experimental drugs that their benefits don't cover. Yep. They start taking them until they run out of money and then they die. Yep. hundred percent. I know insane. it. It's literally it's insane. Okay. So the first point that we have here, and I could talk all day on this, um, and especially with you is low thyroid function and how that can lower your vibration. Now I, I'll just set this up that my audience is very familiar with Stop the Thyroid Madness. We understand, or they understand, dude, the thyroid is as important as your as testosterone. You know, as regulating and optimizing your thyroid is just as important as any other, you know, tier of the uh, endocrine system. I mean, mm -hmm. it's literally the master gland, as you know. I mean, if you don't have an optimal thyroid, you're fucked. It's yep. just that simple. You know this. You know, I say this all the time. A lot of women... After the second baby, the thyroid malfunctions and it ain't anything they did. They could be healthy. They could have been a fitness model, you know, a tr competitor like you, which you can talk yep. about. The thyroid is not meant to have a bunch of babies. I mean, right. you know, you're, 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 as you know, right? Like, I mean, you're literally maintaining thyroid for multiple beings over the course of 10 to 15 years of your life, depending on how long you're having kids for. Right. So most of those women's thyroid malfunction, and you know, I'm going to let you start talking here in a second, but then as you know, there aren't a lot of doctors that can really help many women once they start going down that path. And as you also know, the GPs and again, the PPOs and the HMOs, they, they whack them with these insane dosages of thyroid medication. And then they make them dependent on the thyroid medication for life, Amy. Mm-hmm. It's the and most it insane shit I've ever seen. All right. This is and it you, doesn't you're work. the expert. And it doesn't work. Take it away. No. They stick them on T4 because they were taught in med school, someone comes in and they want a thyroid panel or th the doctor believes, hey, let's check the thyroid. And we can get into the testing too because that's a yeah, debacle. Please. Well, I want to. I want to. Yeah. So you walk in. Let's say you go to your doctor and you say, hey, doc, you know what? I'm gaining this weight. I can't lose it. I got a little really belly, think, right. I got a yeah, little spare I mean, car belly, right. I'm eating well, you know, I'm going to the gym, I'm eating well, and I'm tired all day and my hair is falling out and I'm constipated. Insane. Big markers of thyroid, big, big, big. So the doctor says, or your doctor says, okay, well, we'll test your thyroid. So he writes for TSH and free right. T4. So those are the tests that you're going to get if you're lucky. Right. If those you're lucky. will not, they will not show the full picture of your thyroid health at all, 
at all because TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone. So it's coming from the pituitary. It's coming from right. your brain. Right. And it's just checking out the deal. It's checking out your body and it's saying, does this person have enough thyroid hormone to run the show? Yes, no, maybe. Okay, if it's no, then TSH is going to go up because what it does is it speaks to the thyroid gland. It's like, hey, dude, wake up and do your job. You're not doing your job. You got to produce thyroid hormone. You got to wake up. So as TSH gets higher, it's actually getting louder. It's screaming at the thyroid to wake up and do its job. That's when your doctor will say, oh, hey, look, you have hypothyroidism because TSH right. when high means low. So if TSH is high, it means your thyroid is low. It is hypo. Awesome. And that's where you will get, as you were saying, Jay, medication, T4, Levo, Synthroid. That's what they were taught in med school to hand out. That's as far as it'll go. Like I'm literally sure candy, what... by the way. So I got to ask you a tough question. This is like, because this again, you're the thyroid expert. And this is an entire podcast. So yeah. what do you think the percentage of women in, and I won't even talk worldwide, but in the United States who are literally fucked because their thyroid is so malfunctioning. Yeah. So there's around, I actually have a stat for you. Uh, there's around 28 million people that are diagnosed with hypothyroidism. And most of them are women because it does hit women more than men. Right. And then there's another 16 million that are undiagnosed. Wow. So those are right. the ones that are fucked. So let's think about that then, because let's just also take into the consideration that most of the doctors they're working with, they'll know what they're asked from a hole in the ground. Right. So right. like realistically, dude, of working, I won't say of working, but let's just say adult women in the United States, if there's 310 million, it's at least half, Amy. Yeah. Half. Easily. Easily half. It's a, it's a, it's a very prominent disease state because the thyroid is the master gland and it takes right. hits. It takes hits from pregnancy, puberty, perimenopause, hormonal changes, stress, death, divorce, loss of a job, extreme exercise, dieting, right. different medications, chemotherapy, radiation, all of those things affect the thyroid. And then we can get into hormones. If you're low testosterone as a woman, that will affect your thyroid. If you're insulin resistant, where over really half, I actually, I would say about 70 to 80% of the country <laughs> is obese and insulin resistant, that will affect your thyroid. Wow. So it's easily half, Jay, easily. That's, I mean, I mean, it, it, it's sad, you know, but the good news is you're here and, you know, we're going to break through this inertia, but dude, yep. I mean, you know, you just said it, obesity, I mean, when I wrote the, the Living a Fully Optimized Life in 2019, we only had data from 2018. And by the way, there's no data since then, right? Because of last year, there's just no right. data anymore. No they're, data. Not, they're not pulling data for things. But as of 2018, you just said it exactly right. 70% of men and women over the age of 50 had a BMI that classified them as obese. So literally 70% of, of adult society in 2018, and you and I both know that COVID did not make things better. Right. People didn't less. They're not moving. The gyms are closed, all this shit. So you can only imagine the environment that big pharma, you know, quote created to, to push more of their pills and their potions and their V's and all of that stuff. I mean, it's like, it's insane, but like, where do you really think we are now? I mean, you said it. I mean, are we probably at 80, 75 to 80% of most adult men in North? I mean, when men and women are insulin resistant, mm -hmm. i.e. or obese based on BMI. I would say yes. Absolutely. I would say yes. Um, I'm going to go with the 80% because we are, we're, we're pushing obesity through the roof with, like you said, closing gyms, being at home. I mean, there was the, the, COVID-15 that right. we know came on, you know, right. that right. everybody was putting on weight. So it's, it, it's huge. I mean, I would say insulin resistance tops thyroid disease because it affects both sexes equally. It's, it, I mean, it's insane, you know, to, to throw in some Asir stuff. And by the way, when this podcast run, you guys are going to be seeing Amy, she's going to literally be like our cover model on a seer. She's done so much for us. And again, we're very grateful, you know, with quotes and she's done some video testimonials and stuff. And we're going to be using a lot of her um, identity all over the website. But to that point, I mean, Amy, you know, this, this is what is so screwed up is that people are being lied to 
by their doctors mm -hmm. who are saying that to them, oh, you're in good health. You're fine. Your diabetes is under control. I get messages from people where Oxano doesn't work, which as you know, we disclaim right on the website that if you have vascular or blood flow issues, diabetic, insulin resistant, you know, COPD, anything with blood flow issues, uh, don't buy our product. It won't work. And I get so many people who literally message me and you know, after they've left the one star review, it doesn't work. Right. And we say, you know, cause we do investigative, you know, follow up and send them out messages and stuff like that. And I swear to God, Amy, we've had over 15 people and this is men and women who have said, I'm in perfect health. My doctor gives me a perfect bill of health. And then they will be like, my a one C is under seven. Oh yeah. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. The doctors tell them that their diabetes is under control and that they're right. healthy. So, and again, this isn't to disparage doctors on the show, but you know, it's right. the Campbell podcast and we will. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're telling your patient who has a 6.9 or a 7 A1C that they are healthy, you should probably hang up your fucking medical license because yep. you are doing a massive injustice to society. And dude, these people, they're not, they really don't know that they're not healthy. They don't, they really don't. So, well, number one, they're not getting the right tests. And number two, they're not having their lab work looked at functionally. So if exactly. you look at that A1C, I mean, functional medicine, we want you down around five, 5.1, not yeah, anywhere. I mean, even 5.6, that's, doesn't even get the flag. You know, you don't even get that little H next to it, right? Until you crest over into 5.7, even 5.6. Listen, you're, you're insulin resistant. You are pre-diabetic. Right. Exactly. And this guy, this one guy, you know, was back and forth with me 6.9 telling me he's in good health. I'm like, bro, but my doctor says I am. But his doctor said exactly. That's what it is. Same thing. But look, you know, again, again, in their defense, which they don't have much, they got to pay their bills too. Yeah. And you are not one of them. We're going to get into cash pay versus insurance, but like, you know, I get it. What are these guys going to do? You know, they, right. they got to write scripts. They have to. Yeah. They, they don't I have an pay. option. This yep. is how they make their money. So, I mean, of course they're going to have that guy. I don't know who he is, but he's on six or seven different medications. You know, he's on statins. He's on diabetic, you know, blood glucose lowering medications. I'm sure he's on a high blood pressure, you know, vasopressin or some shit like that. I yep. mean, these people are on so many meds, Amy. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they, as you said, the pill box, the color coded yep. by the intervals during the day, they're taking six, eight, 10 pills a day. And their doctor's like, oh, you're stable. You're good. Yeah, that's exactly it. And, and, you know, it's interesting. I gave a talk to a group of integrative wellness doctors. This is a few years ago. And I was talking about first the thyroid tests that need to be done beyond TSH and free T4. And then I was talking about the medications, like any, something beyond just handing out the Synthroid and the Levo. And I said, you know, let's just take antidepressants, right? You have a person that you feel needs an antidepressant, usually a Band-Aid. And you give them one and that one doesn't work. So you give them another one and that one doesn't work. Insane, and so you put two dude. together and maybe throw in an antipsychotic, whatever. And, <laughs> you know, just toss that in the mix. But you give one thyroid med and then you cross your fingers and wish on a rainbow that this works. I said, why? And the one doc raises his hand and goes, that's all we've learned. Exactly. That's exactly right. So how many other conditions does that's all we've learned apply to? Right. Right. And that's all you're getting. So you're getting me, you're taking your Mercedes to, you know, um, a used car dealer to maybe kind of sort of fix exactly. it with it's whatever the, parts they have in the place. It's the same thing. And we're going to talk about this in the show. It's the same thing with the testosterone windmill clinics. The person comes in male or female, the doctor, you know, has their lab work. Usually they have you know, charged them for that too. And they've ripped them off. And then it's literally like, as you know, it's cookie cutter, templatized. This is what you're going on. Mm -hmm. They fucking leave the doctor, Amy, with eight medications or chemicals, yep. you know, testosterone and AI, a CERM, some yep. sort of a stupid peptide, you know, 
uh, SDHEA, pregnenolone. I mean, I could go on and on and on, and it's insanity. These people have no idea, not just the doctors, I'm talking about the patient, what is doing what. Yep. But as you know, they got to make money. Got to make money. Every patient has to be billing at X mm-hmm. a month. Yep. You know, they hit them up with the $199, $299 a month, get this and this. And then, of course, you come in and it's, oh, well, yeah, but you need this, this, and this, and this, this too. And then a peptide. <laughs> it's, I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, I'm getting these emails from these people. It's been going on for three years. I mostly delete them now because I feel so sorry for some of these people. And <laughs> it's important um, that we mention this. And I've mentioned this on other shows. And you may not even know about this. And if you do, this is going to be great for you because you'll be looking at this tomorrow. Have you ever seen the site testosteroneaddiction.com? No. Oh my God, you have to go there. I should have probably screened you. So let me, it's perfect because you don't know about it. So testosteroneaddiction.com is some woman in the Midwest who's smart, very smart, who built this site, who got a bunch of women and men who are being quacked into oblivion, you know, by podiatrists inserting pellets, you know, where I'm going and their stories and their testimonials. And their reviews are all over the site about how, I swear to God, Amy, when you see this tonight, you're going to be like, how did I not know about this? Every time I say this to a doctor, they're like, oh my God. Yeah. But there, it's like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Testosterone doesn't work. You know, and it's, and again, for their perspective and vantage point, it doesn't, Amy, because they are literally working with people that made them worse than when they went in there. As you know, how many people have you worked with in your practice in the last three years that you've literally unfucked? Oh God, that's all of them. <laughs> because that's, that's when they what come. I to mean. Me. <laughs> so can you imagine being this woman? And I forget her name. She's a nice lady. But building the site, and by the way, they have hundreds of people from it's mostly the Midwest who okay. have literally been quacked into oblivion. You know, it's it, it's just, I mean, I remember reading it because somebody had sent me the email and I started going in, and it was like, you know, Pandora's box. I'm like, oh my god, you couldn't I'm stop. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It was a train crash, dumpster fire. But I mean, I just kept going deeper and I'm like, this is so sad, but this is medicine as you know, and this is a perfect segue for you to get into these points deeper because it really does take a physician who is working with a various, you know, workload of patients Mm -hmm. who all have different problems. They all come from different walks of life. They all have different wants and needs and you have to be experiential experientially managing their endocrine systems. There is no cookie cutter for this shit. As you already said, you don't learn it in med school. You sure the hell aren't going to go to fricking. What is the goddamn pellet place where you go on a weekend and they teach you how to slice open somebody and insert a pellet. I mean, Oh yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's literally not. So this is where people like you, you know, really make a difference. And it's like when I always tell people, I'm like, look, you got to work with somebody who knows what they're doing. It doesn't matter how much they charge you. What is more important? And I wanted to get this to say this to you. So this is what I'm also saying in my course. And I've been saying this for a long time. If you do not have five to $10,000 a year, I don't give a fuck if you're a school teacher and you make 35 grand a year or your CEO making 10 million. Mm-hmm. If you do not prioritize spending a minimum of $5,000 a year on your personal health, your priorities are completely out of order. Yeah. You don't understand because as I said, in the back end, you will suffer and you will literally most likely be bankrupted because you know, the statistics, Amy, I mean, the majority of people on Medicaid and Medi-Cal or in California's Medi-Cal, mm-hmm. they go bankrupt by the age of 69 because their meds, they can't afford their fucking meds anymore because right. they're taking a cornucopia of them. Yeah. That's yeah. where we are. People don't realize this until you actually see an older person in a fa- in your family, most likely or oftentimes, who goes through this depravity. Mm-hmm. And before you know it, dude, they're coming to you as their kid or the grandkid or whatever, and they're asking you for a loan because they can't afford their med. Yeah. I have to take this med though. You don't understand. No, you don't. I know. I know. It's bad. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm sure you're going to get some comments, but but I can't afford it. And listen, my story, I was making $300 a week back when I was undiagnosed, misdiagnosed. And I found the money to exactly. see my functional practitioner right. who saved my life. Right. Whether right. it was eating, you know, soup, ramen noodles, like we did right. in college. Tuna and beans. 
You know, yeah. don't get your nails done. I don't know, but you have it. You have it somewhere because we Come all spend out those lattes money. at Starbucks. No, I, yeah, I, I'm exactly. with you. I, I'm 100% with you. There's always a way to find a way. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the Optimized Tribe with US Navy SEAL Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness, to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. I, I honestly, I'm glad you said that, but we really don't get those people anymore because I've just said, get off my show. Don't, get off my channel. I, I, I don't want to hear from you. I mean, I have so many people like shadow blocked from yeah. leaving comments because it's always the same people. I mean, look, you, you'll love this. We just last week, I haven't told you this yet. We last week eliminated our 30 day money back guarantee for a seer because yeah. the kind of people it attracts, Amy, you know, this are the lowest common denominator. Yes. hundred percent. They don't even care if it works in their mind. Well, I'll try it for a week. Yep. And it doesn't give me amazing instant, you know, massive change. I'm going to get my money back. Yep. My customer service team is the happiest people on the planet. They were literally so grateful. The lady that runs my customer service team was like, Jay, you have no idea how happy I am. And I felt really bad because, you know, for a long time, you know, all the e-commerce gurus are like, you got to have that there, dude. You got to have that asterisk. You got to have that social proof that you'll give them the money back. And we're like, what are we doing? So yeah. I mean, like it's been only nine days and and no victims. She hasn't had a single email from a person saying, "Hey, when when can I get my money back?" It's been three weeks because you know we would normally say ten percent use. We only give the money back if you have a reaction or you know some sort of a rash or something right. bad happens. But all of these people in their mind literally think they can use your product for four weeks and then yeah. send you an email and say, "I want my money back." It didn't work. Take it down. I'm with you. But, but that's where we are. That's where people are. Yep. So do you want to attract that person? And you know this because in your own practice, the, the, the people that really don't want to work with you are going to identify themselves in the appointment with you. Yeah. They're going to be cheap. They're going to yep. say to you, hey, Amy, you know, this is, this is a little expensive for me. You know, how can I cut down this or that? I mean, it's just, they're not worth it, dude. No, not at all. Not at all. And that's why I try to get the message out prior to someone even booking a call to find out about my services, because it's like, listen, just, you, you need to invest. You need to invest. So whatever that looks like for you, investment might look different for a CEO versus a school teacher, but it's right. investing in yourself. Exactly. Like it's wanting the transformation. And when you want that transformation, you will find a way. Exactly. Okay. Tests that a man slash woman, woman slash man, has to get to really understand thyroid function. Right. So we went over TSH and yeah, yep. you know, that's important. That's the, that's the first marker. That's the pituitary marker. We'll test it. That's cool. And then we go to free T4, which you may or may not get if you're lucky from your PCP. That's right. one of the thyroid hormones. So at least they're, they're digging into the actual thyroid hormone. We want to see levels on T4 is inactive though. So right. it's, it just sits there. It has to convert to the active thyroid hormone. So right. again, testing it good to know, right. Doesn't show us the whole picture whatsoever. Right. Then we move on to free T3. Now we're getting juicy because T3 is the active thyroid hormone. Do you know every cell in your body, every single cell, your brain, your heart, every cell has a receptor site on it for T3. Yep. Why wouldn't we test for it? That's the right. Mac daddy hormone. That's what's getting into the cell to give you metabolism and grow your hair and give you a good mood and help you go to the bathroom. That's what does it. So let's test and see where that level is. Then let's test the antithyroid hormone. That's reverse T3. And I like to use the analogy of a bouncer at a club. The reverse T3, if that's high, that is sitting outside your cell door 
going, dude, you can't get in. Yeah, you're not getting in either. And it is literally blocking T3 from getting to the receptor site that it wants to get to. So yeah, why wouldn't we test for that again? And I'll tell you some of the BS that I hear from Only doctors Only hormone gets to see my new blood work. So <gasps> I check can't that out. see it though. You'll have to read it to me. I will. Oh, can yeah. you see it or you can't see it? Let me no, see if it's I can too tiny. Hold on. Let yeah. me see if I can zoom this in and you can see, see if I can zoom in. So this is actually my first. Yeah, this should work. Okay. Uh, this is the first time I got blood work because of, you know, the debacle of last year. Yeah. Can you see it at all? I can see it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So there's my thyroid panel. So obviously I do this on my own. This is through Quest, uh, yep. you know, Lab Corporate Quest. This is through Quest. My doctor is uh, Dr. Brandon Chastant. He's out here in uh, Arizona Flagstaff. And he's like, here, dude, just do it. Right. So, I mean, I literally just did this on the 9th of July. I have not okay. talked about this with anybody, showed this to anybody. I mean, I just sent it to him. But, uh, you know, this was what they offered it like for a man. Uh, you know, it, the, this is the anti-aging panel. Okay. You know what I mean? So I didn't go like really esoteric. I think I got A1C, which you can see my A1C yeah. is, uh, where was my A1C? It's somewhere in here. I was going to say PSA looks good. TSA looks good. Yeah, I don't have any issues. Where was my uh, I was say, we don't have, there's A1C. You just passed it. Did I? Right there. So look, there it is. Per, this, this is perfect for us to segue into testosterone there too. Yeah, so 5-1. I mean, usually I'm 4.9 and truthfully, I really wasn't fasting because I chowed down the night before and I had the test yeah. at like 6 45 in the morning. So I really wasn't fasting. But um, this is very interesting of my testosterone because, you know, I'm using scrotal, right? Okay. And so I didn't use it the day before and I didn't use it the morning of and look at my levels. What now, the hell? So, you know, in talking to Brandon and a lot of the docs now, um, they're, so this is, you know, I, I, I should probably go get my tinfoil hat, but <laughs> they are compressing, as you know, the end caps. So they are lowering the standard mean deviation. Yep. Yep. So what does this really mean, Amy? I mean, again, if I did this two years ago, not using the cream, you know, obviously in the, in the evening or the morning or the day of, cause I did it mm -hmm. that morning. I'm probably 450. Yeah. So this is 200 points that you could, you know, estimate it, that they're compressing even more. So think about this for a second. I'm a guy using therapeutic testosterone. Now, obviously granted I'm using transcrotal, which is in two days can show a, a pretty significant drop. And by the way, I've had the cream tested. I wanted, I, cause I called him. I'm like, bro, is this shit fake? <laughs> yeah. I'm getting it from, you know, I'm getting it from a compounder in Florida. He's like, no, no, here's all the testing. Blah, blah, blah. But I think, that this is them continuing to lower the numbers. Yeah. I don't think this is right. Do you know yeah. how many guys I've talked to? And you can talk about this in the last three months who have said, dude, I went and got tested. I was 160. I was 190. Again, guys using transcrotal. So is yeah. this more of a conspiracy to again lower the end caps? Yeah. I think because so. Because as you know, dude, well, first off, I'm blown away that this is 1100 because LabCorp, the high end is 776 now. Yeah, that's a little high for most labs, right? right. You're right. right. So that's yeah. why, you know, I'm barely over, you know, destitute, right? But as you mm -hmm. know, if I was a PPO doctor, mm -hmm. I would say to this man, Jay Campbell, you're fine. Go home. Oh, 100%. And yeah. I could be dying. I could literally be ready to put a gun to my fucking head at yeah. 263. Yep. Actually, I would argue even if you hit 249, you still wouldn't get a talking to. You'd still be told you're fine. You're normal. So here's Everything here's good. the scary part. And I said this to uh, Brandon. This is not possible. I have a feeling that they ran uh, the wrong. It's I, I know it's supposed to be LCMS, but dude, I don't use any AIs. I don't measure. I, there's nothing. How can I have three? If I was three, if I was a real number, I would feel like shit, as you know, with my estrogen so low. Yeah. So it's not, it, it can't be, I mean, honestly, like I even told Brandon, I was like, you know what, dude, I should probably go get another lab because yeah. how do I get a three. But he said to me that with LCMS, they do sometimes screw up at quest and they run a, uh, a variant that's not for dudes and they run it for men, women. And so it oh, completely that could be... them off. Yes. That's what I think happened because dude, there's no way. I mean, my sex drive is good. I have insane energy. When I saw that, I was like, what? Yeah. I've never had lower than eight. And when I had eight, it was because I was using fucking 
um, aromasin, or not aromasin, what did my doc give me? When I had gyno, when we were clueless back in 2016. Yeah, yeah. I was using like, oh, it was letrozole. He was using like a, a suicidal inhibitor. Yeah. And that killed me. And I felt bad. But I mean, I saw this number and I'm like, I don't even feel bad. So either this test is bogus or they ran the wrong screen. But she thinks they, they ran the wrong the screen. Yeah, anyway, I think they ran the wrong. Yep. You, you can see the rest of my stuff here for you. Um, you know, this is obviously transient elevation, transient elevation. Yeah. yeah. I trained legs true. the day before anyway, too. So my, my shit was blown up. But yeah, I mean, 263, dude. And I'm on therapeutic testosterone. I, you know what? I I saw that in um, my best friend's husband. He uses microdosing. Right. And I can't remember. I want to say... I want to say it's N&T, but I'm not sure. So microdosing daily and right. he, he got his labs done. I'm like, oh, let's see, you know, because I love lab work. I'm like, let's go, let's look. And for for his dose and I mean, he's fit and lean and muscular and, you know, works out and competed in the past. It was something, yeah, gosh, I can't remember. It was like maybe 320. And I'm like, right. Right. What? And he's even on it. And, and, well, so the other thing that Brandon would say and any good doctor would say is that you are mimicking the body's natural production, right? right. You're taking it, you're taking the test without your, you know, uh, administrative dose for two days straight. You could see a lower number, but like I told you, I think that my number would be 450 on a normal yeah. you know, test. And they are just continuing to compress the end, the end caps. And, and so yeah. the numbers, they're going lower and lower, Amy. They're just yep. literally going lower and lower. Well, that's the same thing. I mean, if you look at the TSH, I know you just pulled it down, but TSH used to be zero to 10. And then, you know, people started arguing like, hey, wait a minute, 10 is a little bit too high. We're right. seeing hypothyroidism. Because right. remember, TSH high means low. So we're seeing hypothyroidism, you know, even at like fives and sixes. So they lowered it to six. Then there was more argument and it lowered it to 4.5. Now, functional medicine is trying so hard to get that down to a two. Between zero and two, above a two, that is indicative of hypothyroidism and we need to look further. But, you know, I mean, it goes up to 4.5. So you could be walking around with a three, 3.5, 3.9, four, 4.2. And you're, you're fine. You're normal. It's all good. You're totally fine. And in functional medicine, we go, oh, look at this. Okay, well, paired up with how you feel, because that's the big question, right? Even for you with your testosterone, how do you feel? Let's not forget those four words when we're working with patients, exactly, because it really freaking matters. That's somebody, all that matters. It, how it, do you? You feel? can have beautiful labs. Are you energetic? Exactly. Right. Beautiful. Your labs could be gorgeous, but if you're like. God, yeah, Aim. I don't know. Like, I got no sex drive. My hair is falling out. I just feel like ass all day long. I can't get going. My workouts suck. Okay, that's not okay. Like, our no. bodies weren't meant for you to walk around feeling like garbage all day. That's not how God built us at all. So, yeah. <laughs> Numbers are one thing. Tests are important. It would be nice if we could look at the numbers from a functional perspective. Like this is where you're optimal. Here's normal, right? Side of a barn is normal. Those labs, those lab values, standard lab value ranges, that's the side of a barn. Now right. functional medicine comes in and puts a target on the barn. So right. now you got to get in this target in order to be optimal and living your best life and being your best badass self. But if you're hitting the side of the barn, I can't promise that you're going to feel great. That's exactly right. I mean, you know, the late, great John Krizler said that the ultimate goal of hormone optimization was twofold, and that was happiness and balance. Do you feel good and are you balanced? That's mm -hmm. it. So many people, as you know, it's one of your points. We can just jump talking to it. But so many points, so many people think that they have to be compressed into these narrow lab, lab ranges. Mm -hmm. And as you and I both know, those lab ranges were created in the 50s. Yep. For people that were in environments that were not polluted and contaminated and over estrogenated and all this other bullshit, you know, from the war on our, our endocrine systems. Uh, and they were also not designed for people utilizing therapeutic hormones. Right. So any of those things are bullshit. Right. And, and that even that comes into play with people on thyroid medication. Exactly. So you could be on, you know, that med that your doctor gave you that you walked out of the office all happy. Like this is the answer. Now I'm going to feel better. And your labs are going to look good and you're going to be sent on your way because you're normal. Right. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, I mean, what does that even mean, by the way? What what does normal mean? I mean, it, you know, it goes back to my argument, and I again, I I really glamorize this in my course that's coming. Um, testosterone replacement therapy is a dead acronym. Who the fuck wants to replace a hormone that is literally cessating as you age? Mm -hmm. It makes no sense. You said it, you know, in your talking points, you know, I've been very, very fortunate to push that, you know, four years ago, but it's about optimization. It's not about normalization or replacing. It's literally about optimizing. And so as I always tell anybody who comes to me, like, look, if your doctor doesn't understand the difference from the two, find another doctor. Find another one. Bingo. Exactly. And if your doctor won't test all the tests that you're requesting for your body to get a picture of what's going on with you, it's time to get a new doctor. Let me ask you, um, I mean, I know your answers, but I'm just setting you up. Um, yep. So we always say, meaning the doctors that I work with, you know, you can't just treat one part of the endocrine system, right? It's like the holy triune. You got to treat the pancreas, mm -hmm. you know, through insulin, blood glucose control. As you know, you're the thyroid fixer. You absolutely have to optimize the thyroid, especially in lieu of optimizing testosterone, oestrogen, or progesterone. Right. But your thoughts on metformin. Now, I know you're a big proponent of metformin, but are you using metformin for the most part with almost all of your female patients? Yeah. Yeah. Metformin or berberine. So, you know, I mean, you get the people that go, I don't want to go on a med. Okay. Here's some berberine. Right. But right. but met I take metformin. Um, everybody who has, well, 99.9. .9, I know people don't like 100 percenters. 99.9% .9 of people that have hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's, the autoimmune form of hypothyroidism, have insulin resistance. That's they exactly have insulin right. resistance. That's exactly You got to right. use something. It's a both and, right? So we said earlier, if insulin is high and you're insulin resistant, so that means you're, you're going to have excess insulin. If that's high, that will block T4 from converting into T3. Right. So it will literally stand in the way and block it. So now you have a high reverse T3, like I said, bouncer outside of the cell, T3 isn't getting in to do its job. So it really kind of comes back then to that insulin component. Right. Maybe your thyroid is fine and your insulin is high, or maybe your thyroid isn't fine and we're trying to optimize it, but you're running around with high insulin all the time. It's not going to work. You got to do both hands and you have to bring in the hormones too. You got to balance the sex hormones. You're running around estrogen dominant. Guess what? Right. Another issue in T4 to T3 conversion. So- uh, you're one of the few people that really understands this. I, I want to go deeper. Uh, so as I was telling you off air, you know, when I went on Ben Greenfield's podcast after the TOT Bible came out back in 2018, um, you know, he started sending me a lot of his either customers, clients, emails, whatever, you know, that yeah. had questions about metformin or questions about hormone optimization or questions about thyroid optimization. And there was a woman that came to me who I ended up becoming really awesome friends with. She actually follows you. Her name is Jennifer Benson. She's out here in LA. She's a, uh, not a functional medicine doctor, but she's like a holistic practitioner. You know, she's got a bunch of advanced degrees, nutrition and stuff like that, but she was really lost. She had Hashimoto's, she had autoimmune and she went to all these fucking docs. As you know, you've heard the story a thousand times and right. everyone gave her a different diagnosis and they went down the whole mold toxicity screen and heavy metals and, you know, everything. And I literally did a consult with her. And mm -hmm. she was like, I'm at my wit's end. Same thing you said, my hair is falling out. This is before I knew you. I would have been like, oh, well, you need to go to Amy. But this is yeah. literally three years ago. I said, look, I know this is going to sound like a reach because it's to you a diab diabetic medication. But I am hearing that you have some form of microbiome inflammation. This is the most powerful insulin slash inflammatory systemic inflammation suppressor that I know of. Start dosing 250 of metformin bid and see what happens. And I'm not kidding you. Three weeks later, she sent me this long email. She's like, please give me your cell phone number. Because we had done a video call. So she didn't yeah. know my cell phone number. But I mean, she was crying. She was so elated and joyful. She had literally been down this path for six and a half years. You know, she had been through hell. But three weeks on metformin cured her. Oh my God. So the fact that you said that, you know, you're right. And, and, yeah. and so many physicians overlook these things. 
-hmm. You know, but systemic inflammation, regardless of causation, is the ultimate problem. And so if you correct, you know, correct that, suppress it, crush it, whatever you do. And, and by the way, we should mention dihydroberberate is amazing. Not a yep. berberine guy, uh, because I think metformin is obviously more regulated because it's it better. Is, quote unquote, yeah. a med. Right. I mean, and don't get me wrong. You are right. Berberine is fine. But I don't trust the supplement industry. Right, right. Especially, especially being a guy who's been in the supplement industry. You know, I, I see what goes in. I see the lies and the scandal. But as you know, you know, f- d- d- for the record, metformin is a plant. Yes, big pharma made money off of it long ago, but now they don't. Right. And that's why they don't push it. And that's why they don't want it to become a mainstream medicine because there's one great, brilliant doctor who's no longer my friend said five years ago, Jay, if metformin was in the water supply, hospitals would shut down. That's brilliant. And by the way, it does, as you know, so many other things than what you and I are talking about. That's why whenever I get into it with like really smart bros about, you know, because they'll say, but Jay, you know, Peter Optia says that it limits mTOR signaling and it limits glucose output. And I'm like, well, yeah, it does. If you're a fucking professional bodybuilder or strong man, you know, right before a meet, well, they just cut it out. But I always say like, look, dude, if you want to live longer and, you know, completely slow down, uh, you know, telomere and, and, and glomeration, all that stuff. Cause I mean, it's doing so many things. This is the thing that you need to do. And as you know, Amy, it's like fucking nothing. You can buy from in-house pharmacy.vu or anti-aging systems. Again, online, you know, offshore pharmacies, fucking five year supply for 200 bucks. <laughs> I mean, beautiful. people that are not taking this are literally like, I mean, they're not extending their lifespan. Let's put it that way. You know, No, because insulin will make you age and Dude. it'll make you age quickly and it will make you it will bring on neurodegenerative disease, exactly. period. We know exactly. Alzheimer's is type 3 diabetes. Absolutely. We know that. Absolutely. And there, do you know how many st- – it's so funny. We, you really are my twin. <laughs> do you know how many studies there are online in the last two years about how metformin literally blocks amyloid plaque formation? Mm-hmm. It's insane. Yep. I've seen them. I've, I've saved some of them. I have like a metformin library of PubMed articles. Look, yeah. in the article, you know this, but – the audience does it um, in the article that we did for Ben on, you know, the stack to regrow your hair, right? We say dihydroberberin or metformin, because again, the opposite of what was once thought about metformin, again, the medical industry always, you know, mis extrapolates data from patient population cohorts that are sick mm-hmm. and inflamed and diseased, you know, as, that's always the issue, but there was, I won't mention her name because we're actually now, friends somewhat who went crazy on metformin and said that it causes mitochondrial dysfunction. And then Dr. Atia jumped on it and it was, you know, the stupid shit. And that's when me and Ben, that's why I got on Ben's podcast because he wanted to debate this. He wanted to talk about this, you know? And I was like, Ben, bro, you need to go on Medline. You need to go on PubMed and you need to read all these articles about metformin because the inverse is true. It actually enhances mitochondrial function. Mm -hmm. The latest data, which we put in Ben's article is a huge study from six years with like over 1500 people healthy, by the way, uh, in the, in the population group. And some were, um, uh, early onset type two diabetics and the rest were just, you know, non-control dude, everyone improved mitochondrial function. Now, why am I telling you this on this podcast right now? And I know you know this, but for the audience, this is the new frontier Improving mitochondrial function, density, energy demand is the key to living long and strong. There is nothing else. That's the only thing that matters right now. How strong are your mitochondria at 50, 60, and 75? Right. Because that's going to keep you alive. And I have never seen an adverse reaction to metformin outside of some diarrhea. And even if you get the diarrhea, guess what? It's fixing your gut. That tells you that you need it. You are my sister, by the way. <laughs> you know how many times I've had friends I'm like, dude, man, I feel like shit. I'm like, because you eat like shit. Metformin is regulating your shitty diet. Yeah. The more pain, flatulence, diarrhea, you know, 
uh, gastro in, in, in discomfort. That's literally because your diet, you're inflamed in your microbiome. You literally have pathogens and God knows what growing in your stomach from eating like shit for 15, 20, 30 years. Yep. Exactly. Dude, that's so true. I, I, I will tell you this, never told anybody this. My wife and I, you know, I've been on metformin now for literally 21 years. My wife, since I met her nine years ago, has been on since then. Mm -hmm. Now she has much better insulin uh, metabolism and regulation. She's got uh, her mom, her genetics are, her mom is from a ranch in Coyacan, Mexico, right? So she's like, you know, fast responder, yep. but she only takes 250 and 250. If she takes any more than that, she just can't eat. But in truth, in Mexico, three years ago, dude, Montezuma's revenge was coming on. And yep. both of us, and not many people know this, but both of us took two grams, okay? Mm -hmm. Pounded a, you know, a, a thousand milligram tablet, yep. you know, within an hour of eating the food. And we all, we actually know that it came from the water that we had drank it earlier in the day. We were at like a pool party and a mm -hmm. bunch of people were texting us and were like, oh my God, oh. And so I was like, dude, I'm telling you, this is going to stop it. And I swear to God, Amy, we never even had a symptom. Mm -hmm. That is how powerful metformin is to, again, just attack whatever is in the stomach. It's yep. insane, really. It's it's amazing. It really is. I've been on 1,500 for probably, yeah, about 17, 20 years and no gut issues at all. Amazing. And you can eat pretty much anything you want. You never get sick, right? You never feel sick. No. It just controls. Yeah, it does. You know? It really does. It's just crazy that there's this much research. It's, by the way, the most studied drug in the history of the world. That is a fact. Mm -hmm. It extends the lives of people who literally treat their bodies like toxic waste dumps. You know, yep. obese, insulin resistant, you know, inflamed. I mean, just, I mean, again, they're, you know, you know, give me three grams in the morning, doc. I mean, and, and they still live longer. And yet people that are healthy, like, you know, us right, won't use it because their doctor won't write the script or the, you know, the same bullshit, you know, nephri causes, uh, you know, glomular filtration problems in the kidneys. I mean, it's the most insane shit. It's yeah. like they literally, they still teach second and third year med school students never give metformin to anyone because it causes kidney damage. That's what they think. Nice. Well, yeah, but like you said, metformin is so cheap. We can't teach right. that in med school. No <laughs> That's exactly can, true. Yeah. That's exactly true. Yeah. That's literally example. Okay. So last point, and then we can pontificate a little bit. It's the same question, but now it's about testosterone. Like mm -hmm. what kind of an epidemic is that for women? Because you and I both know, um, just as men have been emasculated, women have been castrated. Mm -hmm. So you've got women, as you said, you know, you know, through, the, through their labs, estrogen dominant Yep. and low testosterone. Absolutely. And, and, and these, and these women, you know, for the most part, don't even know why they act so hyper-masculine. They don't mm -hmm. even know why they, they just think, well, you know, it's just a new part of society. You know, they, I, I'm not supposed to be feminine. I'm not supposed to be, you know, subservient to my husband or, you know, whatever. And again, obviously the men are so fucking weak, Yeah. but it's, 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 it's really fascinating to me when I start seeing the levels of testosterone scores, even women and how bad that is too. So, I mean, again, this is an epidemic across the species. So Jay, I saw a patient just a few weeks ago, female with a testosterone total of a three. Wow. It's the lowest I've ever seen. And no one, no one has ever said anything to her because when you ask your doctor as a woman for hormone testing and actually <laughs> the comical thing, oh, you're going to die. So I went to, I have a PCP here. That's my friend. So, you know, whatever, I'll play the thing. I'll go in, right. let's do the right. annual check. And right, I just right, go, right. you know, Hey, can, can we just, I want to see my hormones. Can you run a panel? So it, yeah. you know, I can check them out. And I walked out of the office and I never thought that I had to say anything to her. I thought that she knew my line of thinking and what right. estrogen, LH, luteinizing hormone, FSH, follicular stimulating hormone. Was there a progesterone on there? No. no. Was there of testosterone? Of course Hell no. 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 Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's what, what and, and, and welcome to the club or welcome to insurance medicine. Yeah. That's what you're going to get. 
So ladies, testosterone is vital. If you want to, again, it, it crosses over with thyroid symptoms. So when we're talking about the weight gain and inability to lose weight and, and hair loss and libido and energy and motivation and building muscle and burning fat, it all comes back to, yes, the thyroid is the master gland. That's important. And that's going to control your sex hormones. That's going to tank your testosterone. That'll, that'll throw off estrogen to where it can go high or low. But then we come to testosterone and here's the both and theory. So we have to treat thyroid. We have to treat insulin. We have to treat sex hormones. We got to look at your testosterone ladies, because if it's low, then actually there's studies out that say low testosterone show that low testosterone increases your risk of Hashimoto's, which is the autoimmune form of hypothyroidism. So you're walking around with low testosterone. You're feeling all of the same symptoms as you do with low thyroid. You probably have low thyroid too. So now it's a double whammy. Now it's compounded and you feel like garbage and you don't know why, because you're coming in within the normal range because that testosterone range for women is huge too. So you could be at a 19 and oh, no, you're not. You're fine. You're fine. It's all good. <laughs> Dude, I want to bring you on again because I want to go deeper on hormones. I mean, mm -hmm. I, you know, we covered a lot, which is good. Yeah. Um, I want to obviously allow you to promote yourself real quick here too, but let's talk a little bit about a seer just for a second. Yes. Uh, first off, um, if you're going to use a seer, use her code and her code, by the way, is D R A I M E or A M I E. Yeah. A M I E Dr. Amy. Um, and it's 15% off any of our products, but just real quick. And again, you guys are going to see her all over our website, your thoughts on the efficacy of obviously the face, the serum and cream, GH copper peptide, GHKC, and then the hair product. Mm -hmm. So listen, First of all, I would never promote something that I didn't try and experience results in and believe in. So let me just say that first, right? Because there's a lot of people out there that have, you know, affiliate codes, affiliate codes, affiliate codes. I freaking love these products. I love them. So my group of patients with hair loss, 90% of hypothyroid patients experience the hair thinning or the hair loss. And listen, it's not these ladies that are just you know, counting the hairs that come out of their head and they're showing. I had a woman the other day show me the ball of hair, like literally on the camera as we're having our, our telehealth consult and, that she collected. And their hair is still there. It's viable. And that's where the Oxano Grow comes in because they use that for a month. I mean, I have patients texting me literally right now. I think you saw it on Facebook. A woman's like, hell yeah, I love this. My hair is growing back. I, I have people really getting phenomenal results with the Oxana Grow. I mean, just ladies, your hair falling out. You don't have to, you don't have to deal with it, right? You don't have to accept that as normal. And biotin ain't gonna work either, by the way. <laughs> so <laughs> well, somebody just um I'll send it to you after the show when we when we end the live or not the, when we have the podcast. Um, I got a video testimonial from a woman, no idea who she is, probably right around your age little bit younger than me. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing because she was showing where her hair came in the whole time she was doing it. I, I was like, this woman must be a podcaster or something because she was really good on camera, but she was doing it from her front seat of her car. You know, she had one of those, uh, those tripods or mounted yeah. phones, but she was showing where the hair was coming in. And she, then she let her hair down at the end and she's like, look, I have a lot of hair. I don't want you guys to think that I'm a cancer patient. Right. But this works better than anything in my life. And she's like, look, I've had autoimmune. She, you know, it's the same thing. Yep. You know, I've had autoimmune, uh, I've had thyroid issues. My hair's gotten thinner, blah, blah, blah. But you know, it's crazy, Amy, because I wanted to get your take on this because you're the person to ask the biggest issue that we have with Oxano. And you told me this way back when, when we first started talking was that the smart people about hair loss, both men and women have been lied to. Mm -hmm. And they think that DHT inhibition is the game. Yep. And so they're the ones that are still the doubting Thomases about this product. And they're just like, you know, I get the messages, Nick gets the messages, there's threads all over the internet, you know, Jay Campbell, you know, shaved all his hair off his head and, you know, now he just let it grow back and he's scamming everybody. You know, he was the testosterone King and now he's the hair King. I mean, that's it at all. Right. But it's like, they don't get it. They've been lied to. They've been spending money. By the way, Nick and I are so not into, into DHT. I asked him the other day, I'm like, what is Rogaine for a month cost? He goes, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, well, let me go to Target. 
I took a picture. It's $47.99 yeah. yeah. for a month supply of Rogaine. Now, right. again, Rogaine is minoxidil. Now, you and I both know that this is where we are in society. People will literally throw money in the toilet and get very minimal results, but in their minds say, well, you know, it doesn't cost me much money, so who cares? Keep using but then it. we sell a product, as you know, that actually fucking works for anyone that isn't inflamed that yep. doesn't have blood flow issues, that doesn't have sickness or disease. Mm -hmm. And they will literally say, but you know what? I wish it wasn't so expensive. And we're like, dudes, ladies, we make two bottles that cost 250 bucks that we say on the you know site lasts up to 90 days, depending on your rate of loss, depending on how short your hair is, depending on if you're a woman who oversaturates. You know how many women will literally message and say, it's too oily. And I'm like, well, how many sprays of, you know, of C60 to put in your hair. Well, six or seven, I gotta get it. <laughs> You're like satching your hair with fucking grapeseed oil. Yes, it's gonna be oily. But the truth is, Amy, it works. Mm -hmm. But again, our society is so brainwashed that yes. they don't think that any hair product is anything but snake oil. Yep. I know. It's well, insane. they just have to hear. It works. It works. They just have to hear it over and over again. You know, the same way as Rogaine has been pushed to the world and it doesn't work. They just need to hear nothing. more people. Well, it makes your it. hair fall out if you stop using it. I know. I know. It's horrible. I know. And then. But that's what's so crazy is like the smart people literally are like, bro, even if I was going to try it, I'm not paying 250 I mean, it's the same. You know, you, you know this. You're like, look, you can drive a, you know, Toyota. Mm-hmm. Or you can drive a BMW. Mm -hmm. It's your choice. Get what you like pay you said, for. Come up with the money. Mm -hmm. What is the ultimate game and goal for you? To regrow your hair? Well, it costs money. How much do you know this? How much do men and women pay for fucking hair transplants? Yeah. For root yeah. change? Yeah. Tens, if not 50 plus thousands of dollars. And that doesn't cost... When they fail, when the graphs fail. Right. Right. And then they look all funny. <laughs> then you look so anyway, weird. it's I, I'm glad that I have evangelists like you um to really, you know, because you're so smart and obviously, you know, you're the you're the perfect brand ambassador. But like, and by the way, I want to tell everybody on the show, Amy actually bought her products. Which actually pisses me off because I would send them to her for free because she's such an amazing mouthpiece for him. But she's tr telling the truth, guys. I yeah. never gave her a cent. She didn't even get a Thanks. discount. She bought the products before we even knew each other. Yep. I never told her to give us anything. She just used them for a month and was like, holy shit, they work. Yeah. yeah so you got to let me talk about the skin, the, the royal blue and the sky blue Thank cream. You. Right. So I start using this. And let me go back. So back in December, I had like a laser treatment on my face. And ever since then, I had breakouts. I had what I guess was actinic rosacea. Right. Little teeny tiny dots everywhere, right? Yep. So I'm on three different prescription creams that I put on morning, was morning and night. Plus, I had to do probably two months worth of antibiotics and oh, it would man. still cycle back. So... I get the, and I have tried, let me also say, Every I have day. tried multiple other high-end, natural, good for, you know, anti-aging plus acne, skincare. Essential oils, Latisse. The whole, everything, the whole deal, everything. <laughs> Nothing worked. I would keep breaking out. So like you said, I buy the, the, the twin pack. So you get the serum and you get the, the cream and I start using it. And then, you know, I do this experiment, I'm like, Okay, I'm going to use it night and day, day and night, night and day. Am I breaking out yet? Am I breaking out yet? Come on. It has to come on because it always does by like day two or three without my prescription creams. Nothing. Night and day, night and day. Hit it with a red light every so often. Night and day. I am off the prescription. That is so amazing. Off. Good for you. That is so yeah. amazing. Good for you. Yeah. It's, I mean, I am, I am such a fan. I can't even tell you. And then I start looking into the actual research. So I did a podcast on this, yeah. the actual research. And you were literally like, how in the hell is this not being promoted? Oh my God, there's so much. It's like, this was known in 1978. Lauren the Pickard. GHKCU freaking Lauren Pickard. Lauren Pickert, by the way, has all of the patents. So I can't say what I will tell you when we end this. 
because be what this amazing podcast to stay up right so i will <laughs> tell you off the air it, you, with bated breath you will not believe what i'm going to tell you on this because i didn't know this either but we found this out because lauren pickard messaged me and nick and said we need to have a talk boys um but yes dude as you found out yeah. massive voluminous research on what this thing does and yet why is it not being used? Well, you and I know why it's not being used. Right. But the high-end companies do list it as an ingredient on the label. But as you Fair. and I both know, there's nothing in it. It's no. like a speck. Yep. A granule of sand or a blue solvent granule from China that's not actual the real quality GHK that we use. Right. So, I mean, it's, it's, dude, it's, it really, I mean, again, I'll share with you off the air, but yeah, it's mind blowing that this is not more known about because it is literally, as Nick calls it, the sham wow of peptides. It does everything. It does. It's crazy. So and next year, well, so next year, you don't even know this and you know, you'll be testing this, but we have a product coming out. That's going to be a pre sun mister because it blocks 98 to 99% of UV photomodulation rays. And amazingly, which, you know, again, because of what it does, it allows whatever your melanin content, your, your melanin cortoid receptors to maximize the tan. Oh. So you can use it. It's like taking fucking melanin tan water yeah. too, bro. Mm -hmm. It is. That's beautiful. It literally is, right? So we don't know how we're going to be able to like get that out, you know, around the FDA and through because, you know, you're now you're, now you're in a different league when you start talking about suntan and blocking and UV and all that stuff. So, but we know, we know that it does that. And then I'll just tell you, um, the best thing that it does is, is, uh, it, 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 it heals. If you get a cut, like a, a really deep laceration, we have probably 25, you know, reviews on the site from women, all women, yeah. no men yet who have, you know, had disfigured, disfiguring scars. Mm -hmm. uh, from all sorts of things. And honestly, it literally heals scars too. It cleans up scars because again, it's, it's rebuilding the dermal matrix in the cells. So it's simulating an 18, 16 to 18 to 19 year old, you know, cell state in the face. So, you know, I mean, there's a woman, she won't send us a picture and I begged her and I oh, God, it would have been the greatest, you know, before and after picture ever. But she told us her story about how she had like facial disfigurement and, again, we haven't seen her, but you know, she did a really good job writing and she's like, I couldn't go out in public anymore. And then I started using your powder. We used to sell the raw powder, which we can't do that anymore now either, but we still sent it to her because it was such a heartfelt story. Yeah. But she's like, it, it's a miracle, you know? And you know, when I told Nick about it, he was like, yeah, dude, it does that. So I was like, all right, well, let's just send her powder for life. You know, and he's like done. Right. And, 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 but, but that's the thing is like, it does so many things and you, you know, you personally have found out, mm -hmm. um, you know, firsthand and, you know, in two weeks, the brow, and I'll be sending you this, by the way, we, we're launching the brow and the eyelash product, so which sad. dude, my wife, my wife's had it for three days. And this morning she's like, guess I'm not going to have to buy fake lashes anymore. <laughs> right. Yes. Or put acid on my eyelashes. <laughs> by the way, that's what most women do. Right. <laughs> The shit that you guys buy is literally, I know Nick and I have literally tested our main competitor Yeah, when we were like, oh, and you know, like you start finding out how much money they make a month selling $30 lash products to women mm -hmm. when they probably cost them 40 cents a bottle to make it. I'm not kidding you. I know. You know, our shit, you already know. I mean, you know, you get what you pay for. You do. Our stuff has real cosmeceutical peptide ingredients in the products which regenerate and rejuvenate mm -hmm. essentially rebuild you know to a healthy follicular or you know dermal state in the face to like i said when you were in your prime yeah and that you know the younger you are and you know this goes back to the metformin and why we say take metformin or mitochondrial you know berberin uh, dihydroberberin the, the better your mitochondria are even at 50 even at 60 even at 70 the more the products will work because it's already going back to simulate that healthy cellular state. So if you've been smoking your whole life, please don't buy our products. Right. You know, you're pounding down six pack of fucking Heineken every night. Don't buy our product. Yeah. Yeah. But people just don't get it, you know, but if you're, if you're living clean 
it's magic. And I've had, you know, Danny Vega, a huge influencer in uh, Florida. Dude, he completely regrew his hair in four weeks. He's like, what the hell is this? His wife had a heart attack. She's like, what, what is going on? Did you have a hair you know, transplantation? So the cleaner and healthier and low inflammation you are, it works like magic. It does. I saw results in four weeks. I've never right. had anything that right. I've ever tried that you see results in four weeks. Last last question for you. Yeah. If people want to work with you, and I know you're going to have a lot of women that want to work with you, what is the best way they can get out to you? What's the best way to go? The best way is to book a free discovery call. So this is where we, myself or a member of my team, will go over all of your questions and your health history and the whole deal, what's going on with you. So you can do that at my website, dramyhorneman.com. Just click on the book a call page. It's right here, guys. You know, also visit her YouTube channel, follow her YouTube. Her videos are amazing. Her podcasts are amazing. Um, I actually really want to push her into the community because a lot more people are going to, well, they're going to find you now, but uh, they need to, they, you know, I mean, you're a, a, a beacon of light. I mean, you really, really are. I mean, like I said, when you first reached out to me, I was like, who is this woman? You know, like, wow. Like, I mean, I was like, you know, you sent a message to our customer service. Yeah. And our customer service sent to me and she's like, Jay, I think you should follow up with her. I'm like, yeah, I'm following up with her. And, you know, we connected and it's awesome. And I'm, like I said, I'm extremely grateful for you as a person. And I'm even, you know, even more grateful to know you and consider you as a friend. And obviously we have not met other than virtually but soon we will break bread and, you know, have a nice dinner and it'll be awesome. And I, and, and I'll look forward to that. And obviously, you know, you're going to now be a beta tester for all of our products. So of course, thank you so much for coming on the show today. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Jay. You're awesome. So you guys right there, the thyroid fixer, Dr. Amy Horneman, go to her website, Dr. A-M-I-E Horneman, H-O-R-N-A-M-A-N.com. Book a consult with her. If you are a woman struggling with hormones, thyroid issues, or anything of the sort, this is the person that I'm going to send you to. Remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see you guys very soon.